Welcome back to The Sims Resource. Today, we're going to be learning how to install Sims 3 custom content in 2022. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is download a file extraction software like 7-Zip or WinRAR. Whatever you want, whatever floats your boat. I just go with 7-Zip because it's free and it's pretty easy to use. And I think having mods in the game really enhances the Sims 3 gameplay experience. So once you've done that, we can get going with installation. The first thing we're gonna do is start a mods folder. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to Mod The Sims on this page and you scroll down, they have all the directions written out. So if you are confused at all, just read through those directions. But then you're gonna to wanna to download the mods folder and save it. And then you're gonna to want to use Windows or your MacBook to extract the zip folder. And then you're gonna go into the mods folder and cut it and move it into your Sims 3 folder under Electronic Arts Sims 3. And so obviously I already have a mods folder, so I'm not gonna paste it, but if you don't have one, you're gonna paste it and then you'll be all set. Here's how you install package files. So once you've downloaded a file that comes up as a package, it's really easy. You just go straight to your Electronic Arts, The Sims 3 and mods. It's super quick. And then you just plop it in there or you can put it in a separate packages folder like I have. Either way works. It's super fast and super easy. And if you see, I have all the sliders I just installed in my game already. Wasn't that nice? So now I'm going to talk about installing Sims 3 pack files, and this is going to be the harder way. Even though in theory it seems easier, it is it is not. It's not easier. It is a little bit harder, honestly. So you're going to go and download whatever file you want. I downloaded this hair. And then you're just going to double click on it in your downloads folder. And it should take a little bit, but eventually it will launch The Sims 3. And this is actually on two times speed, The Sims 3. So this is it when I've given it twice as fast of a timeline and it's still taking this long for one file to install via the launcher. So this is why I'm saying this is the harder way. It seems much easier, but if you have a bunch of these uh, files to install, it takes forever. It is not worth your time. Please do it the easy way. I'm begging you. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, it's now installed. I can hit OK eventually. And then, yeah, it takes even longer to close. And the problem is if this closes and, or it improperly closes or doesn't close and you have to force quit the launcher, uh, the item probably won't be in your game. You'll have to restart the whole process, which is something that I've discovered in my recent exploits of trying to install CC. So again, I really recommend against using the launcher. It's really buggy and it doesn't quite work unless you have like maybe one file to install. But even then I would say, do the next method that I'm going to show you because this is really not the best. <laughs> but as you can see, that hair did indeed appear in my game. So eventually it made it in. So this is really the best way to install Sims 3 pack files that I found. So you're going to, again, go find whatever you want to put in your game. Obviously, I'm just scrolling through the Sims resource and I found a hair I wanted, so I picked it out and I downloaded it. And the next thing you're going to want to do is go to this Mod The Sims page for the Sims 3 Multi Extractor. And this will actually take a package file out of your Sims 3 pack and make it so you can just install it like a package file, which is super easy. So you're going to want to create two folders, that's Sims 3 pack and one called Packages, and put those wherever you want or you're not going to forget it. And then you're going to start up the little extractor, you're going to pick the Sims 3 pack folder after you pasted your new mod in there. And then you're going to want to select the packages folder as your destination. And once you've done both of that, you just hit extract and it will extract those files into packages. As you can see, it's now packaged. And then just cut that and go back to your electronic arts, the Sims 3 Oop. and go to mods. And once again, just put it in with the rest of your package files. So as you can see, that hair is actually in my game and it took way less time than the last method. So 
That's why I really recommend this version of putting in a Sims 3 pack because it just takes way less time and you can do it for a whole bunch of mods at once if you want. So thanks for watching. Bye.